Oh my god. It is really stormy. It's been snowing for like since yesterday. We're supposed to get this like giant Jesus ass snowstorm. I guess this is it. Anyway, we're flying out to New York today. Fingers crossed <laughs> that we don't get delayed. We're speaking at 368 tomorrow night about what do you do when you feel like you suck? We made a video about it, I'll link it up here. We're just gonna kind of elaborate on that a little bit. 20 minute talk, 368, very excited. Stay tuned for that vlog, which will probably be on Sunday. But in the meantime, we wanted to share with you guys kind of five tips on how to nail your first travel vlog. I'm excited, roll the intro. So today we're sharing five tips on how to nail your first travel vlog. You're starting in video, you just got a video camera for Christmas and you wanna get out there and you wanna film your you know, travels and your experiences and stuff. It's very exciting, very fun, but there's a couple of things you should keep in mind before you go on your first trip. So first, number one is practice. Don't just get a new camera and think that you're gonna know how to use your camera when you get on your trip. Practice with your camera first. Sorry, my dishwasher's on. Just get to know your camera inside and out so you can change settings on the fly when things around you are changing. If you're gonna be talking to the camera, practice talking to the camera before you go. Don't leave it all till when you get to your destination because it's just gonna be a shit show. Practice first. So once you, once you have your trip planned and booked, you need to pack for your trip. You know, once you have all your activities booked, you kind of know what you're gonna be doing in terms of activities. So pack the things you're gonna need for your trip. So if you're doing like water activities, you need your GoPro and you need, you know, a floaty handle, make sure you have that. Make a list of things that you need. I've got battery and charger here. I gotta bring my laptop. Extra batteries, definitely if you're travel vlogging, if you're gonna be gone all day, you're gonna wanna have like at least three, if not four batteries. Charge them the night before, go out, shoot, and then when you come back at the end of the night, charge them up. ND filters, batteries, GoPro, laptop if you need a laptop, which I, I do recommend you bring one if you have one. Just make a list, pack accordingly, make sure that your bag is, you know, Comfortable, it's gonna hold all your gear. This bag here opens from the back. I like that for traveling because nobody can really rob you, which is nice. That's what we're using. This is the ProMaster Cityscape bag. We're gonna do camera bag tour at some point soon. Pack your gear. Okay, so we're supposed to be leaving for the airport like right now, but Chris is on the phone with work, so I do have to finish packing, so I am going to throw all my extra shit in. We're going to California right afterwards and we're gonna be trying out the new Sony a6400. Very excited. We're gonna bring them just in case. This is very stressful. I'm never this late. Do we need a tripod? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Let's go. Traveling in the winter is such a hassle because you have your like winter coat, you have to bring boots, your hats, and it takes up so much space. The nice thing about it is that wearing a coat with zippers, you don't need to bring a purse, key. So we're waiting for the Uber. We're actually really late for the airport. And I'm stressing out because I like to get there two hours before. Chris makes fun of me all the time. Yeah, I'm just worried because there's a lot of snow. So hopefully we get there in time. The Uber is not here yet. And the weather's pretty bad. The roads look pretty messy. Fingers crossed we get there in time. Oh, he's locked out. Traveling and filming at the same time. It's really, it adds another layer of complexity. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of think about multiple things at once. It is like rage inducing trying to get down the stairs in the elevator with like this camera in the hand and like multiple bags and you're wearing your coat and you're sweating. Usually if we're only going for a few days, we'll just have one carry on. If you bring your camera gear, you're guaranteed to have one carry on plus your backpack. Mm -hmm. You need a camera bag that has room for clothes. camera gear and clothes. Think we're gonna make it to the airport in time? I don't know, it's pretty snowy out there. So hopefully we get there in time. I just like, I really hope our flight doesn't get delayed. I need to fix this mic. Okay, where's the floss? We made it on time. Did we? What time is it now? I don't know. Alright, we got like an hour. We're good. It's easy to underestimate the weather sometimes. Yeah. Things are marginal VFR, which is A-OK -okay for a commercial airline. Looks like we missed the brunt of the storm. Once we're in New York, we're good because we fly out of there on Tuesday. So we have a couple of days and I don't think there's anything. Chills day. Chills day. We gotta find some uh, breakfast food. Maybe Anchor Bar or something has like breakfast stuff. We missed breakfast by like an hour and a half, so grilled cheese is, grilled cheese is breakfast, right? Just picture it as toast and bacon, and cheese can be for any meal. It's fueled up with grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, I actually feel like a bag of dicks right now. Tell me exactly, how does a bag of dicks feel? Like this. 
Tip three, figure out what your story is beforehand also. So write some quick notes in your phone just to kind of give you an idea of what your video is actually gonna be about so you know what you need to film during your trip. Yeah, just so it's not a random mishmash, so you get all the clips you need to get. The story is actually about something instead of just random clips and montages of things. What is the story? Figure out what clips you need to get, but also leave room for spontaneity. While planning your video is really good, leave room for things to come up that are really interesting and fun because that can make your story a lot better. Yeah, and if you have to make make notes of like talking points also, like that works too. Anything else to add to that? Uh, no, I think you nailed it. So yeah, we're delayed, rolling with the punches. 2.45? Yeah, 2.45. Yeah. I guess I can take a nap, because damn, that's a lazy guy. Damn, that's a lazy guy. <laughs> I figured we would be delayed. Wow, well, look at it outside. Oh, fun me. So, I used to get really irritated, you know, if a flight was delayed, or there was like errors, you were on the airplane and you had to like unload for whatever reason. And ever since Chris became a pilot, I have so much more respect and tolerance for delays and issues like maintenance issues with the airplane well you know behind think? the scenes that everybody's doing things for your own safety to delayed for reasons usually out of people's control like weather yeah or maintenance finally boarding i'm finally awake yeah damn he's a lazy guy yeah. hey guess what you're not getting back your pillow you always make fun of me for that pillow but it's actually like the best isn't it it's okay Finally. Well, Newark, New Jersey. New yeah, we have to take a whatever into New York. I'm right, gonna grab some food. How do you get out of here? Okay, tip number four, don't spend your whole vacation looking through the back of your camera. Figure out what you wanna film, film what you need, and then actually enjoy your time off. Cause otherwise you're gonna realize you spent the whole vacation looking at the back of your camera and that's never fun. Also think about who you're with. Um, if you have a wife who vlogs, then they probably don't mind being on camera. But if you've got other family members there who just might find it weird that you're filming everything, um, you know, just take that into consideration. Yeah, they might be afraid to say no. Mm -hmm. Like, she puts me on like, videos all the time, I just don't want to be on them. Jesus Christ. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna change this channel name to just Becky. Becky and. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, we need to find the Uber area so okay. we can hit the hotel. Okay. All right. Check back in later. Yeah. I've never been in this hotel, looks nice here. Are you ready? Oh my god, this. This hotel smells fantastic. It smells like my grandma's bath. It's very Scandinavian Danish. It, with the blush pink. Huga? Huga? Q montage, then Q fixing the mic. Nice in here. It is nice. Yeah. It's like very Scandinavian, eh? Very nice vibes. The matte gold. Good choice, Peckham. Thank you. Tip number five is don't format your memory card. So when you come home or come back to your hotel room at the end of the day, you know, break out your laptop if you bring one with you, dump your cards, you know, put those on a hard drive, but then don't format your memory card. Put your card back in your camera and continue to shoot on it. And that way, the next day when you go out and shoot, you leave your hard drive back in the hotel room, preferably in a safe. Your cards are on your person, so that way if your hotel room gets robbed, your footage is still on you. And if you lose your camera or something happens to your card, your footage is on your computer in the safe. It's kind of a foolproof way to make sure that you don't lose any of your files. If you make a point of coming home at the end of the night and dumping your cards, and then just the next day continuing to shoot on those cards, the next night, dump, 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 major key alert. It's the best way to go about it. Little bonus tip for you though, if you are going out and shooting and you wanna get really nice, light, magical, cinematic shots, the morning and the evenings are the best time to go about that. If you are planning you know, excursions or going out to a spot to shoot, early morning, later at the evening, and then in the middle of the day, you know, spend that hanging out without your camera, go to the pool, do whatever. The middle of the day is kind of a good time to just not shoot because the light isn't so great. So don't forget, it's a vacation, so have fun. Don't forget to put away your camera as well. Enjoy it, and uh, yeah, have a good time. So tomorrow we are speaking at 368, which is pretty surreal, like honestly. I get really nervous when I talk 
to people in general, but talking, public speaking is scary. It's something I want to do more of. I actually made a video about it when I spoke with Pat a couple of months ago, I'll link it up here, but I am nervous. Uh, Chris has done a lot of speaking. He's really good at it, so I, I think I would be much more nervous if I was going up alone. Stay tuned, Sunday, we'll post a vlog from that day. That's it, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dump this card. Maybe I'll start on this video and uh, get an early night because we have a long day tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed, Chris in the bathroom. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We'll see you on the next one. So here's a funny story. I just rubbed the shit out of my eye. My, eye, my eyeliner's a mess. After I filmed this video, I went to actually dump my cards and realized that I did not bring my card reader. Anyway, what I thought was a card reader was actually a dongle. Though I did not take my own advice. Luckily, I made it home with my card safe. This video was actually supposed to be out last week, so I'm a little bit behind in the videos. 368 vlog will not be up Sunday because it's Sunday now when you're seeing this video, so expect that vlog sometime this week. Bye. That is a lazy guy.